I work with the district wildlife officers and we work together to either approach landowners that might have properties that we're interested in conserving or when a landowner approaches us, we meet with them to talk about the habitat values associated with their properties. A lot of the landowners that we work with, they're properties that we've been wanting to protect for years if not decades. And you start forming those relationships early on by just saying to the landowner, you know, are you interested in a conservation easement? So it may seem to some that the applications come in one year and they're funded and we, we're rolling on that property. But it takes years to build that relationship and to build that trust. So it's definitely a process that can go anywhere from probably a minimum of two years to build that relationship up to 25 years on some projects that we've worked on. When a landowner approaches us, we uh, first ask them where the property is located, what the size of the property is, and we look at some maps and we determine kind of the connectivity with other protected lands. We also look at the habitat values, if the property has winter range for big game or migration corridors. A lot of our properties in Grand County have uh, greater sage grouse values. So those are some of the properties that we rank the highest. 